My name is Dan Tran, and welcome to the Nopal Studio Fundraiser. Hi, my name is Sula Wilson, and I'm the program director of North Pole Studio. We're a nonprofit studio and exhibition space for artists with autism and IDD. We support artists in pursuing self-determined lives and careers in the arts by providing access to opportunities, community engagement, and artist representation. This month, we have shown North Pole Studio artists' work through a series of exhibitions throughout the city of Portland. COVID-19 has disproportionately isolated so many people who experience disabilities, and the artists we work with have been resilient and patient and determined. And so this exhibition series was really a celebration of our hard fought battle to open the studio for artists this spring. Our gratitude for being able to create work in this space together, an opportunity to connect with our communities through the arts, and more than anything, an opportunity to share the incredible work that has just exploded in the studio in the short months that we've been open. This exhibition series was one step of many towards creating opportunities for neurodiverse artists in the arts community. Um, we work with so many different kinds of artists at the studio. Austin Bragg, who had his first solo exhibition in Southeast Portland at the Seven Corners Gallery this month. His detailed architectural drawings are exquisite. I want to congratulate Dan Tran who you heard from earlier, who sold two paintings before we'd even finished hanging the show earlier this month. Adam Richards, who is a thoughtful artist and is new to the studio, who had his work displayed for the first time this month. Joni Smith, who creates expressive, abstract drawings and has been doing so for most of her life. Um, and so many of the artists that we're honored to work with at the North Pole Studio. So congratulations to all of you. Um, and then I also want to thank everyone who showed up for exhibitions this month, who shared information on social media. I want to thank our volunteer board and the hours that went into building this gallery and executing this event. Thank you all. We especially want to thank the Cooney Foundation, Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield, and On Point Community Credit Union for sponsoring this event. It wouldn't have been possible without you, so thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Design Source, for sponsoring the fundraiser and for sponsoring my show. Thank you, Harper's Playground. Thank you, St. John's Food Carts. Thank you, Mr. Plywood, for the gallery. Thank you, Model Citizens, for wearing your masks. and I'm the studio manager at the North Pole Studio. Thank you for joining us tonight. Since opening our physical studio space in April, our studio program has been growing by the week and we are already nearing capacity. This shows us just how much spaces like this are needed. Tonight, you will hear the stories of artists who work in this space. Who's coming up? Tonight, we invite you to join us in sustaining this studio. This spring, we made a necessary expansion into a physical space. Your contributions directly impact North Pole Studio artists by providing artists with access to high quality materials, direct support from staff and mentors, and exhibition opportunities. These resources are essential for many of the artists we work with to execute and show their work. 
and this work deserves to hold space in our arts community. Opening the studio this year has truly been a community effort and we are stronger for the many different hands who have shaped it. Tonight, you have helped us raise $16,000 of our $25,000 goal. Thank you so much for your support. Tonight, we ask for your partnership closing the gap. Any amount. With a $50 donation, you have purchased an artist's canvases and paints. With a $100 donation, you have supported and sustained our virtual programming. With a $500 impact, you have framed an artist's first art show. And with a $1,000 impact, you have almost covered our rent for an entire month. And finally, with a $2,000 impact, you are supporting professional development opportunities for artists and community outreach um, that make the careers of many of these artists possible. So thank you for supporting um, us already this month and thank you for your support tonight. First, you will hear the story of the North Pole Studio illustrated in the area by our founding artist, Davis Walford. Hello. Davis has been instrumental in creating our studio's values and design, leading with his kind heart, his commitment to his art, and his unwavering clarity of his vision. He's an expressive illustrator with a voice made for the movies, and we can't think of a better person to tell our story. Davis and I will be back to draw the raffle. So take it away, Davis. Action. This is the story of North Pole Studio. My name is Davis Wolford, and I'm an artist. I like to make art about TV shows, equestrian, fairy tales, Halloween, dinosaurs, neighborhood creatures, animals, farms, Dr. Seuss, Wild Wild West, and space, and Spain and Mexico, and Polar Prowl and all other themes in between. After I graduated high school, I knew I wanted to create art and earn money, make movies, be with my friends, meet other artists, and share my art with the world. And I needed a place to do it. It needed to be small and quiet and accessible and in Portland. It would be full of honesty, kindness, laughter, generosity, loyalty, and most of all, magic. We would call this place North Pole Studio. And we found a perfect space for the North Pole Studio in the Northwest Marine Artworks building. Then, in 2020, coronaviruses showed up, and we had to change plans, so instead we met on Zoom, where we drew together and shared our artwork. We also met outdoors in the community and created artwork about our city. Finally, in April of 2021, we moved into North Pole Studio. In the studio, I make paintings and have met a lot of fr new friends. I've made money by selling my artwork. Now that it's safe, we are able to spread our art through Portland. With our pop-up galleries and exhibits, I love sharing my art with the world. Thank you for listening to this story of North Pole Studios, and thank you for all your support and hearts. Yeah, you can stop it. Hi, I'm Sarah Mensa, North Pole Studios board chair. Wow, look how far we've come. It wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you for your continued support of the studio and for supporting us tonight. When I think back over the past year and all we've navigated so far to serve these artists, I'm truly inspired. We've overcome a global pandemic, historic social unrest, 
logistical challenges, and insurmountable odds to operate in a digital versus physical environment. And now we're actively serving artists and receiving support and attention from across the nation. We did all of this thanks to the work of our incredible 100% volunteer board. And as a result of the incredible support from this community who understands just how desperately our services are needed. We are emboldened by your support and by the early success and momentum we are seeing. So on behalf of the North Pole Studios board, we wanna thank you for your unbelievable support. When we opened the North Pole Studio, one of our biggest areas of focus was the space. One of the first significant moves we made was to develop this incredible partnership with Northwest Marine Works because it was really important to us that we were in a community of other artists and that the space we were in facilitate a lot of the core values of our organization. When COVID hit, months before our launch, our board got together and had to really think through, you know, what this now meant for our organization and our purpose during this time. And really without hesitation, our board decided that we were here first to support artists. So of course we would move forward and think just very differently about what that looked like in the absence of this physical space. The virtual classes at North Pole have been so great for Nathan. He's had something important to do on a schedule, something that he looks forward to. He's been able to make connections uh, even through Zoom. It's been lovely. He um, has really looked forward to those virtual classes. Through our virtual programming and our art salon, we have partnered with a handful of different organizations and these partnerships have provided artists with opportunities to lead workshops with support. For an art class, I taught mandalas. I've been making mandalas since I was about six years old. I like the color and the designs. I thought it went really well. People were really happy and upbeat about it. Well, what I like about teaching is how the kids pay attention and how they follow along with me. Our virtual programming has also allowed us to work with a bigger audience of artists that we had never planned to support through this studio. Through the Exhibiting Artist Program and through our virtual classes, we're now connected with artists across the country and artists who don't necessarily need a physical studio space to work. I think one of the most powerful parts of our virtual programming has been that it's provided a safe space for artists to kind of dip their toes in the water with the arts, where perhaps entering a physical space would have been intimidating. You like art more now that you're taking the classes? Yes. You know, Adam, before you started with North Pole Studio, you really didn't do that much art, just a, a little, a little bit of art here and there. So now that we're, you know, in this space and and working with artists like we'd originally intended. We're just excited by how expansive this time has been and how much just bigger and more complex our relationship is with the arts community. It's really exciting to be in this place and be taking all of those pieces and folding them into to this original idea that we had um, about what this studio could be. What I like about this space is how much we do different wonderful things with arts and all the pictures we make. We started moving into the studio mid-March. We were able to outfit the studio almost entirely through donations. We are so overwhelmed with gratitude with the amount of people and organizations and businesses that reached out to donate labor and supplies, furniture, refrigerator, plants. Almost everything you see here is, has been donated to us. It's amazing to look around at what we've built as an extended community. And the studio is an embodiment and 
almost monument of the support. Every corner has something to remind us of yet another person or business or organization who's gone out of their way to show support for the artists and all this amazing artwork. Finally in April, we were able to start welcoming artists into our space. And after months of doing art on our floors and our kitchen tables and in our bedrooms, it just felt so amazing to be in a space that was created specifically for making art. This building is filled with imagination, a lot of, a lot of creativity and inspiration. Before moving in, we had an artist who let us know that he was feeling nervous about the size of the building and the amount of artists in here. To him, it felt so overwhelming. But we have found that the building operates in a way that allows for all the artists in the building to be part of this huge, physical, creative community while still preserving each studio's particular identity and ways of doing art. So we can be a part of this incredible and large community and building while still maintaining a space that is supportive and comfortable and specific to all of the artists inside of our studio. Now that same artist that was feeling kind of uneasy at first is now super content in the studio and he regularly sprints to the front door ready to get to work. The studio feels really calm. Artists have their own space and materials. We have spaces for artists to go when they need fresh air or time alone. Artists come here to really seriously focus on their art. A lot of artists here have an incredible work ethic and hold themselves to a very specific standard. And we feel the studio has made space for them to do so. Some artists have an artistic practice that they've honed over the years and they're free to continue that practice and routine within the studio while other artists are just becoming acquainted with expressing themselves through visual arts. So they're giving lots and lots of space and time to explore, try weird stuff, make mistakes, edit, and reflect. Ultimately, the space belongs to the artists, and it will grow and change based on what they need and want. Why I like working in this city space is I can focus on my, my own art and see what other artists here are doing too and can always receive help if I need it. The first piece of art that I made in this studio was the spotted elephant. It has been so energizing to be inside the Northwest Marine Artworks, surrounded by the smells and sounds and sights of people creating. Thinking creatively can be infectious, and being surrounded by so many types of creators has certainly been inspiring. And we are slowly, subtly, indirectly starting to integrate into the fabric of this incredible building and community. From Davis hanging his pieces in the communal hallway, to the constant sound of James's keyboard reverberating throughout the entire space, we are steadily making our mark. This building just feels like it's dripping in history, creative energy and stories, and we are so thankful to be a part of it. My name is um, Aaron Cunningham. I get to the studio by public transportation. It takes me two buses to get here from Selwood. It takes me about a little over an hour. I come to the studio on Tuesday, Wednesday, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 1 to 3 in the afternoon. It's a small setting, so there's not a lot of people and it's easier to concentrate. I've been doing art since May of 2010. I have a lot of art. I make art subjects of art from historical stuff to J. 
two metric designs, two um, warships, two all sorts of different types of art. The material that I work with, I'm a acrylic paints, colored pencil, scraps of paper for collaging. For my collage, I use cigarette foils, magazine clippings, different types of contract paper. And the security patterns of envelopes I, I get from envelopes that come in the mail. Art to me means a way to express myself. I like getting to meet people and talk about my art. It's just what I like to do. I'm really successful at it. I'll be doing art for as long as I can, as long as I have a space that I can do that. Thank you, Aaron, for giving us a glimpse into your daily life as an artist. Aaron started taking virtual classes with us in the winter and then transitioned into the studio this spring. And we feel so fortunate to have Aaron working in the studio. He's a serious and prolific artist with seemingly unending knowledge, and we learn so much from him. Your donations allow for artists like Aaron to continue to have supportive space to create and grow. Remember to donate by pressing the donate button above the video. Thank you, Davis. Okay, now on to our raffle. Davis will be drawing our raffle this evening. Thank you to everyone who purchased raffle tickets in the last month. Over 130 tickets were purchased and we are so thankful for your engagement. And just know, even if you aren't a winner tonight, your contributions go directly towards building our programs and maintaining the space so artists can continue to create. All right, we have three raffle prizes to give away tonight. Two swag bags. Davis, do you want to hold the swag bag up? This awesome elephant. And one commission house drawing by our own Austin Bragg. We will begin by drawing the tickets for the two swag bags. And Davis, can you tell us what's in each bag? Okay. What do we have here? Oh, look. Joni had made those three flat cards. Yeah, it's a set of five flat cards by Joni Smith. They're very beautiful. And the big prints of the painting that I have commissioned for my family. Beautiful. And a little pink box of chocolate. Yes, a box of Moonstruck chocolates. Thank you, Moonstruck, for your generous donation. And lastly, tell us about this bag it comes in. This is a bag of the elephant painting, the misfit elephant painting that I had designed with my friend Carson. Thank you, Carson, for working with me to create the spotted elephant design. Awesome. Thank you, Davis. And we also have spotted elephant t-shirts and prints available online. So if you haven't got one, make sure to check that out. Okay, let's pick our bag winners first. First, the go winner goes to Audrey Sandals. Congratulations, Audrey. You are the winner of the first bag. And let's choose some, someone for the second bag. The next winner is Karina. Mm -hmm. Karina Lee, Karina Lupin. Congratulations. Oh. That's a bad one. Congratulations, Karina and Audrey on your new elephant bags. Awesome. Okay. Now let's draw the lucky winner of this custom commission house drawing by Austin Bragg. Can you hold that up one more time so we can all have a look at how beautiful this drawing is? This is Austin. Austin has been doing some really amazing artwork. 
he has been making art about Portland and beyond. Yes, and if you haven't seen Austin's work in person, I urge you to see his solo show hanging at the Seven Corners Gallery in Southeast Portland. Okay, let's pick a winner. That's the pile. Kate Milligan. <laughs> Kate Milligan, congratulations. So congratulations, Audrey and Karina and Kate on winning the raffle. And thank you again to everyone who entered and for being here tonight. While Davis and I clean up this mess, we will close our program with a final word from our board president, Sarah. Thank you. Now, before we conclude, we ask you to join us by considering what the future could hold for North Pole Studio artists. There are countless artists out there who have not been discovered. We meet them every day. Emerging artists who have tremendous potential but have not been provided with opportunities to access the arts. And we are inviting these artists in and starting them on a journey that could literally change their lives. Additionally, somewhere out there are artists who are already establishing themselves as budding professionals. These are artists who only need a bit of mentorship and advocacy and to be empowered to make a major step toward being appreciated by a much wider audience. We exist to support artists in both examples because we recognize that for these individuals, art is the pathway forward for employment, for happiness and community. So when you support the North Pole Studio, you are directly changing a life. Perhaps it's why we've been overwhelmed by such phenomenal success and support so early. This support has come as a result of all you do in the expanded art and disability advocacy communities and by incredibly generous businesses and individuals who want to ensure that their investments are maximized. While this first year has been tremendous, we understand that we have only scratched the surface. It's why your support has never been more important. So thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your support and for your continued shared belief in this incredible mission. If you haven't given already, it would be most grateful to receive whatever support you can provide. Thank you. My name's Dan Tran. I made some flower for iris and pansies and petals and dandelions and morning glory. Thank you, you're coming. Good night, everyone.